Hey guys, it's Angela from CKC4 and today is going to be an Ikea hack. Now, I love Ikea hacks. I like to watch videos about them. I like to look at them on Pinterest. I just think people are so creative and I decided to do my own spin on the Ikea Tarva. So let me insert a picture real quick so you can see what this would have looked like before. If you're interested in seeing how I got here from there, please stick around. So what I like to do is open the box and take all of my parts and pieces out just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So I lay everything out, count it out, and I also like to take my tools and lay them out so that I'm not running back and forth. So here's the put together tarva and as you can see it was pretty simple. Now I'm not going to be using the tarva leg but the leg that I did have does not fit in the, that spot easily. As you can see it has that large base and it hangs over at the bottom there. So um, I had to figure out a solution to make my leg um, as slim as the tarva leg. And what I came up with is cutting off that base there, that two inches um, there, like you see. And um, I, at that point, I the tarva leg fit perfectly. So um, I cut off the, that same two inches of the tarva leg and glued it on to that base there. And um, this allowed me to use the Tarva leg and I still use the tools that came with the Tarva to install it on the actual dresser, which worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna use some glue here and uh, to put it on. I know this is not the securest, but I just kinda wanna dry fit it and I will screw it on later. So once I figure it last, it will fit there perfectly, I'm gonna grab my, I, my Tarva tools or pieces and first I want to go ahead and screw that piece onto the leg as you can see there so I drop the screw in there and screw it on and this is gonna be secure enough trust me I've moved this thing so many times already once I go ahead and screw this on I basically install it like I would install the tarva leg no different Yes, yeah, so I wiggle it there and then I also want to level, make sure everything is level. And there's the finished piece, all legs installed. Now here's decorative trim that I got from Lowe's and I kind of jumped the gun with installing this, gluing and installing it. I wish I wouldn't have because I had to remove it later to put my trim on. But um, this is pretty simple to install. So here is the trim that I will be using for um, this piece. And I'm gonna measure this about an inch away from all of the edges as you can see there so I first want to go ahead and mark my points I do this on th at least three of the corners then I measure the distance between each point and transfer those measurements to my trim and mark now here's a saw box that I am using it's for smaller pieces and this is how I'm gonna cut my my angle cuts and I'm going to be cutting a 45 degree angle on this trim. Real simple to use. Line it up and saw. Alright and this is the, the cut. It's not the best but it does the job. Alright so I removed that piece that I said I was going to remove and it did damage it a bit but all in all it's intact. So I'll send that later. Now I want to go ahead and just kind of mask tape these pieces in place so that I can mark the lines. As you can see, the drawer does have to open. So I have to mark the line, mark the lines so that I can um, cut those openings. Now I also number the pieces and then also number on the dresser so that I know where the pieces go. And from here, I just glue and install. And there's the finished trimmed piece and all of the drawers open. I also smoothed out the edges so that they're not sharp. And here's the primed piece and also the painted piece and you can see it's gray there. Now I'm going to be um, applying a dry brush technique 
and I kind of just had this wood out just so I can test the technique because I've never done it before but it's real simple you just want to make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush and then any excess you wipe off there so once you start applying this to your your furniture you want to do long strokes and as you saw there at the top I did some short strokes and it made it darker but if you have that problem kind of just wipe off the excess paint with a rag and it should be okay now here's my antique dry brush um, dresser I like the way it turned out what do you guys think so I went ahead and taped around the edge that will not be getting the gold leaf Here's, a, here's some of the stuff that I will be using for the gold leafing process. Um, this is spray adhesive for the metal leaf and here's the actual gold leaf itself. It's a very thin foil like paper, very light. If you breathe it moves and it's um, in between the tissue paper here to keep it protected. And here's a cheese, cheese cloth for polishing later. And a paintbrush for applying the gold leaf. So you go ahead and spray the adhesive over the entire surface and then you just basically take and lay the paper off and as you can see it's super thin it's just breaking up there but that's okay any spots that you miss you can just put gold leaf over those spots once you're done you take the brush and gently brush it across the leaf and what it's going to do is take up all of the excess leaf that's not adhered to the surface and this is how it looks once you sweep it all up now I like the antique look so I'm not going to be filling in my missing leaf there but if you want a fuller coverage all you have to do is spray more adhesive and lay more leaf down it's real it's really simple okay I didn't want to leave without showing you the application on the decorative trim same process now because I ran out of the square pieces that you saw before I had to use the the torn pieces here and basically you can buy the gold leaf in a square pack or you can buy it in in pieces and you apply the same way you spray the adhesive and you take and apply the gold leaf to it but the only difference is it's a whole bunch of torn pieces that you can use instead of the one large square I also forgot to show you guys that how to polish so once you apply the gold leaf you basically take a cheesecloth and you polish it like you're polishing shoes as you can see um, and what's going to do is take any excess excess pieces that were missed by the paintbrush and as you can see I have some spots there that I'll fill in later once the polishing gets complete and you're done leaping you want to make sure you spray on a sealer now the sealer is going to keep your gold leaf from tarnishing and keep it from peeling off and this is the finished product I really love how this came out yeah so there you have it I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for sticking around guys take care